We have one last question. Okay. And that is, is there a sort of dummy's guide to figuring out which areas will have the greatest level of appreciation? A dummy's guide. So, yeah, there actually are, there's all kinds of studies that are available online and the government actually provides a number of, of documents as, or a number of studies as well as HUD housing and urban development. They've got all kinds of studies and you can drill down on their, their site. But I encourage people to keep more of a macro view of things rather than, you know, sometimes say, Oh, oh I've got to go to this market because it's going to, the crystal ball says it's going to appreciate more than that market. And the, you know, I don't worry about that stuff. Here's what I worry about. Do I have a customer? Is this a good market for a customer? And when that customer shows up, listen, they're willing to do amazing things. Number one, they're willing to give you their money. Number two, they're willing to work on the property. They're willing to do some or all of the repairs to the property. Well, to me, that's everything. That's what we're looking for is somebody that'll come in and do some or all of the repairs to the property and uh, earn that money actually towards their down payment. So it's a real opportunity for people to look at their life from a different point of view and end up with a big win. So I don't worry too much about, uh, you know, the place to buy. I say that every community in the entire country is a potential deal location that you can actually focus your business on. Again, what we teach in house monster is to create that target market and then focus on that target market, which is all the little burgs and communities around the country. There's enough business for everybody because of what we do and how we do it. Beautiful.